something on our minds that we just can't shake. We are going to try something new and we're gonna be leaving the cabin. But first, good morning. Had a coffee in my hand. I felt like I couldn't stand no more. And then I fell See you in a few weeks. Seems like a good day for it. Hello. It's a lot chillier than I imagined it would be. Why is winter back? Looks pretty though. It's gonna be worth it. It's been a while. It smells like pennies. You'd be rich. It's all iron. <laughs> So we're gonna give that a wash. Thank gosh we have a hot water hose though, eh? Yeah. That used to be our shower. Yeah. <laughs> How close it changed. I know. Eh? Now it's just for recreational uses, <laughs> not for cleaning myself. The hot tub is now forever in commission and ready to use as soon as I get it cleaned up. And that is because we got the proper filters to filter out the iron and the arsenic in our drinking water at the cabin. We've been working super hard to tie up the loose ends. So not only do we have drinking water, but it's super exciting because we get to use the solar array and our battery bank to power our well now. So it's like everything's really coming together and it's the best feeling ever. Sparkling clean, so clean. And the water that's going into it is clean. Clean. I can't believe it. I'm so excited to get in there later. Like now, it's gonna, you're gonna have a hard time getting me out of here. Kitchen! Life is getting so much easier out here in the woods. What even is this? It's incredible to think that Crystal's using water outside to fill up the hot tub and I'm using water inside to do dishes. I know that's probably a normal thing in life, but I was speechless. This week, every job that is on our to-do list is a project that you start and then you stop and you let it be and then you start and you stop. It's going to be quite the week and I'm very excited for it because let's just say finishing touches, baby. I gotta say, life's looking awfully different these days. I know, eh? Damn! I've missed my sun hat. And your passport? And my passport. You shook me like a hurricane. I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be so nice after today. Find an old forgotten flame. There's nobody else to blame. Fire's blazing, about to put some big logs on and it's almost entirely filled up, which means in a few hours after we get some work done, we'll be able to come out here and relax. And with the longer days here, there's nothing better than getting outside and making the most of every daylight hour. It's great. For a minute of your love. Mm -hmm. Now that we have a kitchen, we're trying to make everything from home. Feels good. How's it going? Good, touch it. it Maybe your best uh, fire hands? Fire hands. Not that it matters, it's gonna go right in the fire. True. <laughs> That looks good though. Yep. You happy with it? Very. Like I said, everything has to wait today. Next task that also needs to wait. Ready? <laughs> I've learned that taking time for myself and sharing an hour of my day with my therapist makes me feel better. Thank you to Pride Counseling for sponsoring this week's video. My favorite part about Pride Counseling is that when I show up to a session and I choose to open up and share my life with someone, I know and I am ensured that the person I'm speaking to is an LGBTQ plus friendly therapist. It's a safe, non-judgmental space and that feeling is unmatched. It truly feels so good to not be in the back of my head thinking, does this person support my relationship, my beliefs, who I am? And that's a really good feeling. Pride Counseling will assess your needs and match you to your own professional licensed therapist who has relevant expertise, experience, and training to provide therapy for LGBTQ plus community members. And you can chat to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's a phone call, a video call, on chat, or text. You can message your therapist anytime and you can schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. 
And if for any reason your therapist is not a good fit for you, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional cost. With Pride Counseling, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would expect from in-office therapy. There's more scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month with Pride Counseling. Go to pridecounseling.com forward slash vanwives. Snow was definitely not in the forecast today, but here we are, determined to get the stain on. Painting station! One thing is for absolute certain, when Jasmine has an idea, she's gonna accomplish it. And there ain't no one or anything getting in her way. And of course, she's back with her famous paint gun that she tells everyone about that she's so proud to own and love so much. Pretty happy I get to use my paint gun again. The only time I've got to use it is when I had to cover up my love note to Crystal. Welcome home. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> only you would do that. You cry. Today we are building our own doors. So these are the door hangers that we want to match the color of our cabin. That way it just looks seamless. Staining with a paint gun is a lot easier and then you back brush it with this. All I read on the paint can was that you can use a paint gun and I ran and you got ran. my paint gun. And then Crystal read the rest of the instructions and it said you can use a paint gun if you back brush. Okay, BRB, you ready? Have fun. You might get painted. See you later. I love the feeling, I love the feeling, love the feeling. partner doesn't like painting, I highly recommend just getting them a paint gun and they'll start to love it. <laughs> That's definitely what happened to you. Apprentice. Sna Apprentice? Get out of here. Professional painter. You're not wrong actually, you look like one. Feel like one. Gun. But also, can we just take into account how beautiful these are and how nice they smell? How yeah. nice they smell? How nice they smell. What are these? Doors. Yeah, we know they're doors. Okay, well, can you set me up there, AP? What's AP? Apprentice. We've been living without doors for how many months now? We just haven't put them back up. And I'm absolutely sure that our guests are gonna be very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, we're having two guests soon, so we have to do this. I have a trick for you all. If you're an impatient painter like I am, you're gonna wanna hear this. Ready? But why are you screwing your door, Jasmine? Have you ever seen the top or the bottom of your door? No, you haven't. Voila! You want to paint the other side, you say? Well, now you can paint the other side, you say. Ain't that the best trick you ever saw? Whoa! <laughs> I noticed that the smoke was no longer barreling out of the chimney of the hot tub. Cannot forget about the most important thing today gonna be so good. Painting station is now closed. Whee! We have finished painting the doors. Crystal's finishing up the brushes just to go around the trim. How are they going? They are going good. They look very nice. I told you all every project is very start and stop today, but I cannot wait to see what the doors look like when they are hung in the cabin. It's going to be amazing! I don't think I'll ever get over how cute it looks when they both eat at the island. It's perfection. How's that? Good. Last one. Let's be real. These are so I can spy on Bella and Izzy because they can't come where we're coming, unfortunately. I'll be watching you. All right, how's this dough doing? Oh, it looks like it rose very nicely. Hello. That's some thick bread. Roasted garlic. Remind me, that's in there. Remember when I singed my bangs? <laughs> <laughs> she just singed her whole hair. I came in the cabin and I was like, what smells in here? That's why I was like, is this stove on? Oh my <laughs> God.
Not no more. Our dear subscriber, Randy G. Thank you so much for sending this our way. It is a fire blower. A fire blower. I think it's called something else, like a, a blow poke. Blow -poke. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyways, you blow in here, the air comes out here, and you can avoid burning yourself. Oh, let's use it. I can't Game wait. Game changer. It's amazing, and I'm pretty sure it's handcrafted. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, they made it. Like, that's so special and so thoughtful. I know. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. Amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. I love it. Thanks, Randy. It's so <laughs> nice. Improvise. We're getting there, everyone. Does anyone have any, have any tips on making bread and dough? Because I feel like our community is really big on break, really big on baking bread and dough. That's a hard one to say. Really big on breaking. <laughs> it's like bake, breaking bad. That's what my brain keeps thinking. Try it. Our audience is really big on baking bread. Stop. You just showed me up. Tell everyone about this pie here. What's going on? It's an olive me thrice. Olive me thrice. So roasted red peppers, olives, artichokes, and on an olive oil base. Yum. Fresh, fresh mozzarella. Want to fire them? Let's fire them. Just an update, and in case any of you fire stokers don't have a blowy, a blow, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, they're so sick. It's changed my life. I just use it on the hot tub and the pizza oven and it's just the coolest thing ever. It actually feels like I have a blowtorch now. I feel like a real dragon. It's you, cool. True <laughs> Canadian trekking out for the maple syrup. <laughs> you don't mess around in this country. When you run out of maple syrup, you go get some more. <laughs> <laughs> got another liter. Oh yeah, that'll be gone in a week. That looks great. It looks so good. Lick your fingers. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Cheers. Mmm. How's the crust? Mm-hmm. Actually good? <laughs> morning. Good morning. The clean water hot tub. And it's damn hot. I love it. It now says 43 Celsius. And it was 44 when we got in? Yeah. That's pretty good. It hasn't lost that much heat with the cover being off for how long. The sun's coming out now. So nice. Sunshine. All right, everyone, look. You can see your toesies. Wow, eh? It's so nice. It's clear. Yeah. And it stayed warm pretty much all night. Mm. It did stay warm all night. I forgot to mention that, actually. I woke up this morning and it was super warm. I had to put one log on and then it was hot. 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 Keep all the hot air in. Might have a second cheeky hot tub tonight. It looks pretty good in the camera. Just not in real life. <laughs> Been standing here pondering the color for about 10 minutes. It's quite similar, but not where we want it. I think it's still hangable, can still be a door, and we'll come back to it soon, whether we add a little bit of white to it or whatever we do. But probably having a door is better than no door, especially on the bathroom. Ready? Beauty. She is a beauty. What the heck is that? <laughs> Your nose is hanging out there. <laughs> the weirdest thing I ever seen there. But she's so happy about it. Oh my. <laughs> oh. You are something else. You're funny, dog. We've got this up, the door frame. Hanger. No, yeah, because that's the frame. We always had the frame. Now we have the door hanger. Soon we'll have a door. But before we do the door, we have to finish the bottom trim where the two different floorings meet. Time to cut this and it should be snippy. 
Looks like a pixie stick, but there's no sugar in it. It even opens like a pixie stick. This is the most adult pixie, pixie stick I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, does finishing touches ever look good? Come on. Oh! Oh! Hi, girl. I think it's good. Okay, so that brings us to the door. And I mean, you've all seen us install doors before. We've learned a lot since. So let's see how this baby goes. Seven yard and a quarter is our first opening, okay? Three fourths off that. Five eighths or three fourths on the bottom of the door. I think I can say we. We are much more confident this time around when it comes to hanging a door. Everything's looking really good. But is it gonna lock? That's the question. Nice. Wow, doors! Wait, wasn't it just in? I have to hinge inside. You, you just go flat. This is gonna be First try. First up? Yeah. This is getting pulled out. Yeah, it's gonna have it. Okay, so I'm kicking it. You kick it. And you're just letting it swing back at the same Ayo, Ayo, level. Doors are easy. Door stopper. Oh, door stopper. Door stopper. Door stopper. I forgot to buy handles. I know it's a really important thing. So, no handles for this door today, but they have a door stopper. I kind of like the push method. Crystal doesn't like it. She told me absolutely not. But here we are. For the door trim, we are going to be using exactly what we use on all the walls, the cedar shiplap. So it's completely seamless. It just looks beautiful. In order to remove the tongue of the groove, we have to slide each board through the table saw. It looks good. Sorry. You don't want it to hang, right? Can you help somebody do that? Not my vibe. You know what is my vibe? This is my vibe. Wow, we have a nice door. Really? I yelled again. <laughs> I always never want to do the trim. I'm always like, I gotta do the baseboards. I gotta do the door trim. But it's the best part. It makes the biggest difference. That's so satisfying. <clears throat> I actually couldn't ask for Good nice job. Today. You too. I'm very proud of this door. It's very pretty, like very pretty. We keep taking a step back and looking at it from afar, it really completes it. It makes it look so good. Not gonna lie, we we're only gonna do a one door and then move on to another task, but we just, that I think we need to bang out the next two doors as well. It will complete this main floor. Let's get it, I'm actually so excited. After a successful first door installation, we move on to the next door, maybe with a little too much confidence. As we set the door hanger in place, we notice something is a little bit off. This door hanger is wonkity donkity. You left-handed or right-handed in hockey? I'm gonna play hockey. With our wood looking like a hockey stick and a small injury. Ow, slipper up my ass. Oh! We figure out the problem. Hello. So we totally got that on this door because our bedroom doors are smaller. We had to actually see these little shimmy shims. This door is different than the bathroom door. The bathroom door, the person said to me, are you good at doing doors? I said, not really. They said, it's okay, it takes me four hours. I believe in you. And I said, okay. So the bathroom door is actually harder to do than this door because it had to be exactly perfect as you didn't have any room to add any shims. However, this door is easy peasy lemon squeezy because all we have to do is add shims. However, I forgot about this entire conversation with this person. So here we are figuring it out right now. I grade that door a 10 out of 10. Damn, it's straight, it's nice. There is just the right gap at the top, the bottom, and the sides. Very happy with it, and Phew. every door we've ever put in has gotten better and better. <laughs> Hanging the doors feels like it's transforming the look of the cabin. And after a much needed sunshine break, we recharge our batteries and head back in to complete door number three. <laughs>
Wow, eh? Looks good. I love trim. I also can't believe we're at the point of trim in the cabin. One. Found him. I always take the suitcases out at the last minute because as soon as I do, Bella knows. She's right here. She gets sad. Oh, her ears go back. Here, it's okay. Okay, everyone. Remember the winter plow? Well, it's no longer winter. So. We made it! <laughs> <laughs> we did. Kind we of. certainly made it. It's spring, baby. And I mean, look at it. It's just sitting on gravel now. So we might as well get to taking that off and getting it out of here. Spring <laughs> drops keep falling on my head. No, raindrops keep falling on my head, not spring drops. Anyway, I'm very proud to say that the snow is slowly depleting more and more each day. And let me tell you, I've been keeping an eye on these piles of snow every day, a couple inches because of that glorious sunshine up there. All right, let's get this thing off. You already got it out. Yeah, what do you call me? Justin Plow Canning for. Justin Plow Canning. <laughs> Who are you? You mean that if you're so. <laughs> nice spring fit. Fashion. So what, you lost the snow pants in the parka? Yeah. I'm not even wearing mittens. See you later, snow plow. Smell you later, actually. The last load of the season. No more bringing the wood up to the cabin because there's no way we're gonna burn through what we're about to bring up right now. I can get used to that, that's for sure. Some days are harder and it's okay. That's why we got friends and family. Gotta push through the dark times of night. Yeah, believe in the grass on the green side. It takes a willingness to lift you up. It takes a willingness to love. <laughs> so happy to know that it's the last load. One of the things I'm most excited for to build this spring is our woodshed. Tarps don't really work. A lot of moisture goes in, they end up freezing to the ground, you can't get the snow off them, so you're left with wood that looks like this. I love the woodshed. I wanted to build it last year, but you know, so much other things. Okay. Love me a birch log. What? Love me a birch log. What? Love me a birch log. What? I love me a birch log. If anyone else is a fire master, you'd know that this right here is fire making gold. Love this stuff. LOL. It's spring. Of course it's spring. Just some flurries, you know? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Just took our plow off. <laughs> what the heck? Minutes later, it's a snowstorm. <laughs> Actually a snowstorm. Those are some flurries. I love you. Be a good girl, okay? I don't want to be alone without my mamas. Hi. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Love you, girls. <laughs> Gonna miss you. Hardest part is always leaving Bella and Izzy, but the cabin is all ready for one of their favorite people to come look after them. While we go try something that we've always wanted to try. Alrighty. Alright. <laughs> We're about to try. Hey, hey, hey. Hey!